Hi, I'm Judy Medore, and my husband Greg is behind the camera, and you're watching the Oily Crafter channel. Today's project is going to be unboxing our new air filter or purifier for the X-Tool F1 that uh, we got several months ago, but we didn't get the purifier at the same time. So we're going to be unboxing this now. We've already cut this up open, so we don't have to take time to do that. I haven't looked inside to see what's going on. So let's see here. Okay, just a piece of cardboard. Of course, they always have their manual right at the top. And then looks like power cord. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's at least part of it. Let me put that down there. That's the transformer that converts AC to DC power. Alrighty. And then we have good styrofoam. Don't see any parts hanging out in it. All right, no we'll cables, that. adapters, yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, always looking for all that kind of stuff. Okay, and then there's a green box here on this one side. Oof. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. There we go. Okay. Looks like an adapter and a second hose. All right. And the rest of the power cord. Oh, and I just, I'll get that. Don't worry about it. Let me come around here. Well, yeah, this like, is, yeah, this is the AC power adapter. Yes, this is the uh, cord that goes between the F1 and the air purifier itself. And then on this adapter, it goes on this end. So you can hook, I believe this is so you can hook it to the end that's on the F1. I don't know, maybe not. Hmm. We have an extra adapter. So there. Well, my, my guess is, is it's another hose to go between the X-Tool F1 and the air purifier. My understanding like is it. that's what this hose was for, to the air yeah. purifier. And then yeah. this one goes from the air purifier to wherever you want it to go. Okay. All right, now for the air purifier itself. And again, it's stuck in some pretty good... Uh, uh, there we go. All right. So let's see what all we have in here. That looks like it's most likely it. If we can't find something, we'll go back down and look some more. All right. So this is a Ziploc baggie with I think extra pre-filters, I think is what they call them. Yeah, there's two of them. Those are pretty thick compared to most pre-filters I see. High density foam. Yeah. I don't know if you'd really call it a foam, but hmm. it is thick. Okay. All right, I'm going to, let's put that right there. <laughs> Just... Oh, you want to put that there? All right. So now let me get this tape loose. Okay. Yeah, it's probably going to be better to use than I can put it. They do give instructions on the box to be sure if you're using a sharp tool to open the box to make sure that you don't somehow damage the contents inside. So, obviously... With all the foam uh, on the top, yeah. hopefully it will protect it. <laughs> yeah. Open the box with care, yes, in other words. please do. All right. So, here we go. That's what the uh, air purifier looks like. Okay, and let's see here. I have not watched any videos on how to set it up or how to change out the filters, but I'm going to figure that out here shortly. Oh, there you go. You press in on the sides and you come down in here. You got a pre-filter and the rest of the filter box. And that's the bottom. Got it. So we actually purchased a second one of these to have on hand, which I have in another box back there, just in case it's needed. Because I do a lot of wood type products and I don't know how fast I'm gonna go through these filters. And if you're working at a craft show, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to uh, have a problem with airflow through your yeah. purifier and then not have a spare. Okay, so this looks like- The on off switch on -off there. On off switch, yep. And then back here on the back, actually that may be uh, speed. Speed, yeah, fan speed. And then this uh, back here is on off. This is where the power goes in. 
I'm assuming that goes to yeah, that's a USB-C connector. And my understanding is, when you have these two connected, this automatically comes on when you start yeah. that. And you have a max and a min. So maybe that's fan speed inside of there, maybe? Could be. I, I yeah. don't know. My understanding is you go from the F1 to the top one. And then the top one is where that, or the bottom one is where that uh, second tube goes to where you, yeah. like if you don't want it blowing on somebody else at a craft fair. So you point it down to the yeah. floor or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's for. All righty. So that's the unboxing part. And we're going to get it set up, get it hooked up, and do some samples. All righty, so here we are. We're looking at the book, trying to figure out how to, all these ports. This first one here just says reserved port. And then we have the F1 port. Which uses a USB-C connector. And then here's the power. Then the smoke inlet. Yep, smoke inlet, inlet is, is up, up here. here. Sorry. Up here at the top. Yeah, it's 04. The top one, not then, this one. And then the five this is the smoke out outlet. outlet. And then number six is the level switch which is that right there. Yeah. And then like, seven oh. is the power switch, that one yeah. right there. And level would be like fan speed. Okay. Of the unit. All right, and then. Okay, now we're moving around to the front of the unit and there's 01 is this one right here and it's called United Mode. The next one is the uh, 03 and that is the button. It just says button. <laughs> it doesn't tell me what it's for. And then 02, which is this one right here. Well is constant mode, which we're assuming if that one's on, that means it will run with the F1 yeah. when you turn it on. And this button just acts as a toggle, a toggle between the two back and forth. Okay. That's what it is. All right. So that's the front. Okay. Yeah. Go. Mm -hmm. All righty. So we've been hooking up the wires. This is the power to the F1 going to the power strip. This is the wire that goes over to here for the air purifier. This one here is the power that goes off to the power strip. And then we've got the one coil going down and then I'll grab this one back. We took it off so you could see, put it back over here. This is the one that actually came with the F1 that we have up on here. It comes with the other end already attached. So you don't have to use this ring. And, and then we just have that one just coming down to the floor right now. Yeah. And then I'm going to have Greg explain to you about this switch right here. Okay, this switch here, this is actually a three-position switch, max, uh, medium, and min. And what this is, they said it's a fan, basically it's a fan speed. They said if you're using a blue laser, that you need to run it. They recommend running it in the maximum mode. If it's an infrared laser that you're using, then you can use it in the next switch down, either either. Uh, the mid speed or the min speed, either one. So it depends on which uh, laser module you're using on the F1. Um, and then also around over here on the front, it says when it detects, remember that switch here that we mentioned earlier, it turns out if it's in this mode, if it's connected to F1, it will auto detect and automatically goes into this mode here. Uh, so that means when the F1 is on and running, it'll automatically kick this unit on. This other mode here is a continuous mode, and if that light's on, that means it's just gonna to continue to run constantly. So just to let you know, you notice we have it powered on, and we've got it on max, but I want you to listen real careful. You can't hear the fan running, but the fan is actually running. So, very, very quiet. So two things to note is one, the uh, unit was not running earlier when I thought when the power switch was turned on. And the other thing I want you to note is right here, I had that cable plugged in. Sorry, I can't hardly show you. But I had the cable plugged in right here on the F1. I moved it over to this port right here and I'll show you why. When I moved it over to the other port, it went from continuous mode here to sync to the F1 mode here. So if we were to turn the F1 off right now, then it would shut this fan off. So just wanted to make sure you're aware of that. You can actually hear it running, 
the unit and there's quite a bit of air moving through this filter and coming out this hose, the hose down here on the other end. So we're going to do a test now uh, with with a blank here and see what happens with the uh, with the unit itself. Alrighty, so we're over here at the XCS software by Xtool. I have updated it to the most current one as of November 30th, 2023. So I have brought up one of the deals that we do at craft shows. We actually do snow globes and I don't have one of the finished products with me. But I use these samples here to, uh, it's the left behind of the snow boat part. I have my Husky here. I got it highlighted. I got it on engrave. I have special settings that I've put in for this particular, it's dog engrave too, which I put in myself. I named it after I put in the blue light. It's 100 power, 300 speed, one pass, 220 lines per centimeter. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, do the framing. So I can make sure my deal's in place, and it is. And by the way, I'm going to show you one of the new features here. I'm going to move this over. See how the framing moved? Can you move that again so we can show them? So it automatically moved when I move. Yeah. See the blue box down here? Move, move it again one more time. So we've got live framing now for the... Uh, Framing. That's part of the new update. That's part of the new update. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it back to the center where I had it. Stop framing. Since I hit the back button, it didn't know what to do. Okay, so now I still have my settings at the three millimeter basswood. I'm going to go back in here and make sure it didn't lose any other stuff. Okay, we got the output, the engrave, my settings here, all the same until it just stops framing. Do you need me to pull that back up? Sorry. No, you're fine. All right, now I'm going to hit process. And we're going to lower this. We want nobody getting their eyes hurt. All right, I'm going to hit start. I have my buzzer turned off because it crashes. I don't want it bothering the booth next to me. So here we go. It's ready to go. And this takes about uh, a minute and 48 seconds, I think, when we did it earlier, testing the new settings after we updated the F1 firmware. I wanted to make sure it worked before we started doing the video. There's not really any strong aroma from engraving the wood either. We were yeah. testing it a while ago and there and was, was a really strong... Really we strong, didn't have no filter on it. We didn't have a filter on it. Yeah. So, this is... Yeah. I think this is going to work great. Yeah. I don't think we're going to have any complaints this time. Yeah, you know, we were using somebody else's air filter at the last craft show, and they made me shut the laser down because there was too much smell. And this time, I'm not smelling anything. I think it's going to be I, worth I'm, the investment. Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I'm not smelling anything either. And goodness knows, our, my nose is definitely sensitive to, to stuff like smell. that. Yeah. 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 Although we kind of like it because it reminds us of a campfire. So, yeah. but other people apparently not so much. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're at a minute four, and yeah. it's doing good. And I want to notice that that link light is still on on the F1 right here, uh, on, the on the air purifier, indicating that it's linked to the F1. And I put this silver deals from my D1 Pro. Uh, under it just to protect the table just in case there's some kind of a stray beam or something that happens it's not it doesn't come with the f with these it's just something i had from my um d1 that i have a minute 40. And it's almost done there it is okay now we're going to open this no residual smoke sitting around. Yep. That's awesome. And Everything just shut off like it was supposed to. Yep. It was so, done. Yeah. So Even the, the fan quit. The fan quit. So that's cool. That is very awesome. I love that. Not having to worry about remembering turning off that other unit. Yeah. That's very cool. All right. Thank you very much for uh, watching our video. I hope you like our content. Again, this is the Oily Crafter. And Greg and I would uh, invite you to subscribe and like our videos. And uh, we hope to see you in the next one. Okay, so what we wanted to do was we wanted to compare what the filter inside here looks like after doing one engrave. This is a replacement 
uh, pre-filter here. I'm trying to see if I can get the shot off of it. There, can yeah. you see it? Yeah, it's, it's okay. completely clear, crystal white. Okay, now, so push in on these. You push in on these two sides, you open it up. So here's the, here's the other filter here. And we got, we got shadows on it but really bad. But the good news is, is, is there's not really any difference. Now, what we did notice, just to let you know, is when we took this lid off, there was absolutely no odor while it was running. But when we took this lid off, we did notice a little bit of odor. If you get down really close to this pre-filter and sniff, you can smell a little bit of the wood burn engrave that smell. But while the lid is on and completely sealed, um, there was no smell at all. Yep. Put the lid back on. You want to make sure you put it on there straight and then just apply even pressure all the way around. Well, I pushed these in yeah, and that seemed to have it go down better. And, and if you look here on the edges, you're looking to make sure that, that, that one side isn't sticking up. It's, it's smooth and level all the way around.